Ever been a bit tired at school and as you doze off your elbow slides across the desk and clonk off the edge and you get a terrific pain not only in the elbow but a tingling feeling in the fingers and you say, oh, my funny bone. What is a funny bone? Is there such a thing? And if there is, why should a clonk on the elbow hurt your fingers? To answer that, you really have to look at the arm itself and the bones inside it. The arm is really a marvellous bit of engineering. It can not only hinge up like that and like that, it can swivel round, and that, of course, is where we get the movements that allow us to play violins and pianos and use tools and make wonderful expressive gestures. But when you see what's happening inside it, you can see how all the bones work together. Let's put the bones inside my arm. Now, disregarding those down in the hand, you see there's one bone up here, up on the top part of the arm, there's the elbow, and there are two bones down below it. And sure enough, if I hinge my wrist, you can see the hinging movement down at the hand like that. And I can hinge my elbow, you can see the hinging movement there too. But when I twist my arm around, you can see those two bones in the forearm working over one another, twisting and doing all sorts of interesting things. And they do that because the bone that is hinging at the elbow here is a bone that pivots at the wrist. There it goes, like that. And similarly, the bone that hinges at the wrist is the bone that pivots at the elbow. And you can see it twisting as I turn the forearm over. You can make a less confusing model out of cardboard. Let's put this up as the left arm. You can match it to the bones on the right. You can see there's a hinging movement at the elbow, a hinging movement at the wrist, but a pivoting movement as well that allows the hand to turn over. And when you look at the names of the bones, the two in the forearm are the radius and the ulna, and this one up between the elbow and the shoulder is called the humerus and that's the funny bone. And some people think it gets its name because the name humorous looks rather like the word humorous, which means, of course, funny. It doesn't spell exactly the same, but it sounds the same, and that's the funny bone. But why, when you clonk it, does it hurt in the fingers? Well, that's not the bone at all. It's actually a nerve. You see, the nerve that supplies those two fingers, the, the two down here on this part of the hand, the little finger and the ring finger, run up, the nerve supplies part of the wrist, it comes travelling up through all the meat in the arm and because there's not a lot of room left, it runs behind a knob of bone on the humerus. There it goes, running behind there. Now you can imagine, if you slide off the desk and you clonk that knob of bone, you can squeeze the nerve between desk and bone and you give it a good pinch. Now the brain doesn't know the nerve's been pinched. All the brain knows is that the nerve has been fired. And this nerve is plugged into the brain, and whenever the nerve fires, the brain says, ha-ha, it's the little finger and the one next door to it. It doesn't matter where you clock that nerve, as long as you fire it, the brain says that nerve is firing, therefore those two fingers are being tickled, or pinched, or stung. And so that's what happens. You clonk that there on the funny bone, pinch the nerve, and the fingers tingle. And that's what the funny bone's all about.